This video is brought to you by Kennel Grim and Grin's own Screams from the Crypt. 20 tales of horror, sci-fi, and suspense. Available now. Hello, I'm Grim Grindle, and welcome back to Build Request. That's right, folks, your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's not a mirage, it's back. And today's build is... Actually, not really today's build, as the vehicle itself was actually built many months ago, and it just never made it on the channel. So, if you follow me on Twitter, you might have actually seen it before, and if you didn't, well, that's some strong incentive to start following me on Twitter, as if you already did, you wouldn't have missed out on it. But either way, today's request is the Razor Crest, which is the ship from the Mandalorian that the Mandalorian flies. Mando. I don't remember his actual name. Not Boba Fett. And this request comes not from a viewer, but instead from Greg Mailers, who posted on Twitter on Star Wars Day that someone should build it, and as Greg Mailers is one of the designers of the game, well, if he's going to request something to be built, then you bet your buns it's going to get built. The main difficulty of building this vehicle is when I was making it, there weren't that many reference photos available, the show was still only quite recently out, and the main reference I ended up using was just having the show playing in the background, which sometimes proved as more of a distraction than an advantage, as I ended up just watching the show a few times. It's a good show, what can I say? But really, aside from the difficulty with finding good reference photos, it's not a very difficult build at all, quite basic. It's your standard replica spaceship vehicle without any moving parts, not like the X-Wing or anything where you have to have things fold out and stuff. So really, aside from concentrating on getting the look right, I didn't have to work too hard on this one. There was of course the issue of staying mindful of the part limit, but this isn't my first rodeo, and we know all the tricks to use there. So large ammos and storage trays and boxes were the order of the day, we've got to stretch it as far as we can, and I think it worked out pretty well. If you've not watched The Mandalorian, I suggest you do. It's the best thing to come out of Star Wars since Rogue One. In fact, it's one of the only things to come out of Star Wars recently that I've enjoyed. The end of Clone Wars was also good, but yeah, it's a pretty enjoyable view. Although, I don't know what's with them being obsessed with not taking off their helmets. I mean, sure, we never saw Boba Fett's face, but that's because we only saw him working. And I mean, looking at the Clone Wars and Star Wars Episode 2 and 3, I can probably name about a million times we've seen Mandalorian's faces. I mean, I guess, technically we've also seen Boba Fett's face about a million times. We actually see his actual face in Star Wars Episode 2 when he's a kid and a few times in the Clone Wars. And then, he's of course a clone of Jango Fett, and so his face is also all of the clones' faces. So really, if anything, we've seen more of Mandalorian faces than we've seen of any other face in the entire Star Wars franchise. But I'm sure there's some kind of nerdy response. They're not real Mandalorians, or they've changed their creed or something, uh... To be honest, I don't really care. Check out the show, season 2 is coming out soon, fun sci-fi action, and if you want to join in on the action yourself, as always, what's going to follow now is a layer by layer, so you can copy this vehicle into your own save. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I have been and still am Grim Grindle. Join me on social media if you don't want to miss out things like this when it happens spur of the moment, and join the channel Grim and Grin Discord The Echo Chamber, links to both of those are in the description below.
Screams from the crypt, as heard by Darkwell Bled. Twenty tales of horror, sci-fi, and suspense. Available now.